And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time Pico Browser. Description, this website can be rendered only by Pico Browser. Go and catch the flag, and then we're given a link. And the hint is you don't need to download a new web browser. So let's go ahead and let's click through, and we will inspect the source and see what's going on. We'll expand this all recursively so we can see it more easily. And I'm just scrolling through, and it looks like we'll try to grab a flag, given this reference. And I'm not seeing anything else that's interesting. So let's go ahead and let's try. And it says, you're not Pico Browser. And then Mozilla 5.0. So this looks like our user agent string. And to show you what's going on, I'll look at the flag request. And we have our request at the bottom. Let's make a little space. So you can see we're requesting the flag using a get. We got a 200 OK response. We have response headers here that kind of tell us information. So headers are metadata about what's going on. So things like the date, the content type, is it encoded? What server are we talking to? And then there are request headers, which we use. And as we go down, we can see we say we accept text HTML, we accept gzip encoding, which happens to be the encoding that the server used. So you can see how these headers communicate information that facilitate us communicating with the server. And then at the very bottom, we see user agent, Mozilla 5.0. That looks a lot like the exact same information we saw here. And what the user agent string is, is it's a header that tells the server who we are and what kind of capabilities we have. So in this case, we're saying we're Mozilla or we're Chrome. So we're a web browser, we have these capabilities. And it's saying you're not Pico browser. So Let's change this. And if you watched a prior video I did, we did a ton of header work in the video called Who Are You? And I installed this mod header extension. Actually, I'd recommend checking out that video if you want more information. But what this allows us to do is it allows us to change our request headers. So I will look for user agent. And I'll say I'm Pico Browser. And something that's important to know is the server has no way of validating that we are, in fact, Mozilla 5.0 or that we're Pico Browser or anything else. It just trusts what we give it. And we can see it's excited. It says Pico Browser, and then it gives us this flag. And I would like to just show you one more way of doing this. Just quickly, we'll use curl. And this can be really helpful for debugging purposes, for making changes. So I'm looking in the Network tab, and I'm looking at the flag request, and I'm going to copy as a curl. A curl is a command line utility. And then I'm going to paste it in here. And what you can see is curl takes the URL, this top guy right here, and then the minus H flags, those are headers. So if we wanted to come in here, we could change anything. We could say instead of English US, English Great Britain, we could change the user agent. We could add additional headers if we wanted to. So for example, minus H, new header, and then we'll just give it a value of one. We'll send our request. And what we can see is Pico browser, and then we get the flag. So all the headers are are key and value pairs that are passed along to the server or back from the server. Oh, I lost my flag. Let's grab it again and submit it. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, etc. Thank you.